Hello guys, I'm glad you could join me again into my channel Coin Lady. Pressure is mounting on the FCC to disclose the contents of the bill's emails. All you can eat Hinman, Freeney Thurium. This has been a hot topic in the XRP community for quite some time. Because it shows how legal minds outside the XRP community are starting to take notice of how unlawful the SEC behavior has been, I'm going to show you a very interesting conversation between some very educated lawyers discussing this very topic. The current predicament of the SEQ will become clear to you. How come XRP and the rest of the cryptocurrency market have been trading at a standstill? We seem to be going nowhere but sideways why is that? Since it seems that only the XRP community has been following this Ripple SEQ issue for the longest period of time, let's address a topic that was just brought to my attention and is really fascinating. Nonetheless, as this video will show, this case will have far-reaching implications for the entire US government and the entire cryptocurrency industry. It's fascinating to hear what they are talking about right now, and it'll show you how the brightest legal minds in the world are keeping an eye on Bill Hinman's situation. Interesting, to say the least. We'll explain it in detail once you've listened. To put it simply, a breeze. Remember the Hinman speech? Yeah. Um hum. Yeah. Ripple won't let him forget it, though. Exactly. Because, you know, there are discovery disputes, which are typically not interesting in the Ripple case, it also takes me to the judge's legal opinion on the matter. Very intriguing. And one of the topics came up, and you know, all of us dorky lawyers here were like, wow, this is really cool. No doubt you all find the topic boring and nerdy. But Ripple had asked for all internal SEC correspondence pertaining to the Hinman speech in Discovery, not just the papers pertaining to Hinman. The SEC also chimed in, saying that the Hinman speech was irrelevant because it did not represent official SEC policy. Initially, he did so in his own right. To anyone who has ever listened to a public servant, it is common knowledge that they will always insist that their words do not reflect the official position of their organization. I'm just here as a private citizen, which is obviously a lie because if they were, none of us would pay attention to what they had to say. Right. Only because of their official status are they even present. Simply put, that's the only reason anyone cares what they have to say. However, they always qualify their statements by saying this is not agency policy, etc. As a result, the SEC filed a lawsuit arguing that his words did not reflect official agency policy and were therefore irrelevant. Thus, it makes no difference whether or not Ripple reasonably believe their token to be a scam, regardless of what you know. The judge ruled in favor of Rock. That's not a mental exercise, it's real stuff. They finally settled on the idea that attorney-client correspondence should be treated as confidential. And the judge said, not only can it not be privileged, because you've already gone to great pains to tell us that this was not an official speech, and that the agency lawyers can't give privileged, privileged advice to individuals for doing personal activities, the judge said. However, the judge was extremely harsh on the SEC for what he saw as overly aggressive litigation strategies strategies that, to your point, private attorneys would do at the drop of a hat. Right. It's really unseemly for you to prize victory over, you know, over legal ethics and consistent, you know, taking a consistent position, he said for the SEC, basically in my words. And so, not only is it fascinating, but I think Ripple is going to change the way that government officials make speeches in the future, and they put an end to this idea that an official can make a speech in his or her personal capacity and then not be held accountable for it later. That's incredible. That completely shifts the political landscape indeed. See, the SEC was found to have been basically unethical and to have presented conflicting arguments in court. Thus, I believe that mundane discovery disputes will lead to novel developments at the SEC, and perhaps novel developments in the public official speech of other agencies as well. So there you have it. That was a roundabout way of saying that this is basically what I was thinking, which is that such a win-at-all-costs mentality is inappropriate for a government agency, if not unconstitutional. I can't believe it. There was much to sort through. Yet, I think one of the most important things she said was that the SEC is acting illegally in their pursuit of victory at any cost rather than actual facts. The second essential detail is that she says the judge shredded the check because of their inconsistent stance. This shows that a legal observer of this case would view the SEC actions as completely unjustified. 
In fact, he's trying to do some shady things to back up his claim that they were punished for doing something wrong. The heck isn't pursuing this case on the basis of facts, and the judges in this case probably don't like the SEC, and this proves it. They aren't pushing this because they think they can win by saying anything. To that end, they have decided to file suit. Since the heck has admitted lying numerous times and shown that they will say anything to have a decision in their favor, the court is now having trouble believing anything they're saying. Is there even a discussion about the merits of the case? If that's the case, it makes it even more likely that Ripple will prevail in court, since the SEC seems to be making things up as it goes along. Ripple is sticking rigidly to the truth, securities laws, and their intended line of argumentation. Since the judges will ultimately decide whether or not to rule in this case, I see this as a very positive development for us. Moreover, I think the SEC took the wrong approach in this case, which alienated the judges. So, this proves to us that we are not making this up. Not only does the XRP community recognize this, but the general public as well. A group of attorneys outside the XRP community agrees wholeheartedly with everything we've said. Moreover, that is very important. It's also important to note that Bill Hinman might stand up and say something to the effect of, oh well, we want the entire industry to know that we don't think Ethereum is a security. However, that's not exactly guidance, is it? Yes, that will no longer be tolerated, but since I'm saying it, it's kind of advice, even if it's just my opinion. And that's great news, since it makes no sense that would work. To put it bluntly, it all sounds ridiculous. After learning that their previous statement had caused them harm, the SEC made an effort to take it back. This, however, is not going to be allowed going forward. His words were taken as gospel by the entire industry. And it's all because of that ripple. Now I. Because I think something very important is happening right now, I want to wrap up this video by briefly going over the XRP price chart and what is keeping XRP in the range it has been in. But then, not many people care. Timex XRP has been rejected off of this top line roughly a million times since the beginning of time, and each time it has returned to this range. XRP has been trading within this range for quite some time. For nearly two years, the price has been consolidating in an enormous symmetrical triangular pattern, with highs falling and lows rising until prices are finally squeezed and we experience extreme volatility. Our current level of volatility is very low. Therefore, the price is effectively trapped between the top resistance and the bottom support. Thus, it appears that we were rejected once again for this possibility. However, time is of the essence. I think we'll make a move to get out of here, and that move will hopefully have positive results in the long run, but that's not something we can talk about right now. I'll show you how the dollar is a major factor in the current plight of XRP and the entire cryptocurrency market. At present, it is obvious that the dollar is pumping. As a matter of fact, the dollar's decline began early in 2023. However, after clearly catching a bid, the dollar just had a significant rally. Sadly, I don't think this is sustainable because of the widespread inflation in our economy and the ridiculous things our government has been doing to destroy the value of the dollar. In my opinion, this is just a temporary improvement before we hit a new low. Nonetheless, the real reason the markets have been under such stress is that investors are flocking back to the dollar. In the end, I think many of the reasons why people are so fearful and returning to the dollar will fade away, and people will continue to invest in companies, assets, and technologies that change the game as they always have. I don't think many people are paying attention to this, but for the time being this is the main factor that has been stifling the cryptocurrency market. The day's final moments the United States dollar is the most widely used currency in the world. There needs to be a source of funds in order to buy back the dollar until things settle down, and that source is assets. Markets should see a boost as a result, in my opinion. To receive quick notification anytime a new video is added to XRP News, the subscribe and notify me buttons should be turned on. The history of XRP is covered in more detail in other videos. In the interim, check out the attached video below to see us in action. Goodbye and see you later.